Hi again, everybody. It's Miss Gabby, and I have my assistant, Evelyn, over here. <laughs> so she's going to be helping me a little bit with the lesson. Everybody else is off doing their own thing right now, because as you know, a lot of you are learning things from home, and it's hard to be on the computer all the time. So, But Evie wanted to help me out, so she's going to help me out today. Um, so what we're working on today is two things. We are going to be working on making green shades and tints out of yellow, blue, black, and white. So you need four colors of paint. Yellow and blue make green. And black makes shades of green and white makes tints of green. So you need yellow, blue, black, and white, right? Four. Okay, you're also going to need some kind of a paper plate. I have been doing a lot of reusing of these recently because these are kind of, I think they're styrofoam or like the wax kind <laughs> um, that you can wash and reuse. I don't like to waste supplies. Or you can use an artist's palette if you have an artist's palette. Um, you're also going to need kind of a liquidy washable paint. Um, yeah, you can see that it's kind of running. Them. That's okay, because we're going to mix them up anyway, so it's okay. Um, anyway, just a little bit like viscous or liquidy so that it'll move around and you can mix them up. Look, there's um, a little line of green in between. Oh, yeah, see? Okay. Um, and so um, the paint that I like is from Discount schoolsupplies.com um, and I like their um, their own name brand it's called colorations and I like their liquid washable tempera paint um, it's just a, it has really nice bright colors and it washes away because we know we don't like to have stains if we can avoid it right right and we like to let everybody get a little messy with paint it's fun um, another thing you could use is a palette knife um, which is what a lot of artists have to mix their colors um, today, we're going to show you what you can also use. You can use the back end a of a plastic picnic fork, which we have also been reusing and washing, huh? And you can also use these little things to do marbling. Yeah, we can show you that too. If you want to mix paint a little bit with this, it'll do a marbling effect that's kind of fun. Or you can use a plastic picnic spoon, um, similarly, and the round edge of the spoon will work nicely for a palette knife. So, Evie and I are going to start showing you how to mix the colors. Are you ready? Okay. Let's see here if we can get a good view of what I'm doing. There we go. So, you can see my yellow, my blue, my black, and my white. So, now what we're going to start doing, and I think that's too far because i got to see all the colors. See? Okay. So, what we're going to start doing is we'll pick up just a little bit of blue and a little bit of green. We'll kind of mix them together. What do you think of that color, Evelyn? Still kind of looks like blue. Yeah, kind of like a teal. teal color, huh? Maybe if we take that pretty teal color and we do maybe a little bit more yellow over here. That makes an avocado green. Ooh, kind of a grassy green almost, but I bet if we take that grassy green and we add a little white, let's see what happens there. Kind there is a tint blue. of green that's almost blue. Do you see that? I think it is blue. Kind of blue, huh? Maybe add a little more yellow. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now it's kind of mintish. Maybe if we add just a little bit more white, we'll get more. And maybe add a little bit black of black and then it's What do you think that'll do? The black. It's going to make it darker. Well, now, one thing I talk to my kids a lot about with black, you don't need as much as you need with white. You just a little goes a long way. Look how deeply that changed the colors with just a tiny dot of black. It's kind okay. of looking grayish. It is kind of looking grayish. Do you guys see that? Let's try that with just a little more yellow over here and see what kind of crazy color we'll get there. That is almost like a limey, like chartreuse color. Have you guys ever heard of that Maybe color? Maybe add a little chartreuse. tiny bit more blue. Okay, let's try that right over here. See how blue we can get. It. Oh, look oh, at the difference there. Oh, add a little bit of blue to that one. Yeah. And see what happens. Hmm. Maybe a little more. And a little more yellow over there. Oh, that's pretty, Evie. 
Now it's like an avocado. Should we thing. add maybe a touch of white to it? Wait, add that stuff. That maybe. was already in there, I think, wasn't it? No. no, I don't think so. A little bit of white. Yes, I like that color a lot. Okay, what else? Let's see what else we get with... Let's add a little bit of black just right here and see what happens. Look at how, see how quickly the black reacted? You do not need a lot of black when you are mixing black into colors. Now we have another shade of green. It's kind of dark. It is a darker green, like isn't way it? way darker. Maybe just a touch more yellow. Oh, and Better. we can make like a really dark green if like we take a lot of black and like a lot of blue and yellow. Maybe if we just take a little bit of blue over here and pick up a little bit of yellow over here, we can take that and go over here and get a really, we need more yellow, huh? It's gonna See how quickly black. the black just makes the other sh colors disappear. That's why you need so very little of it. Because if you don't really like it that dark, then maybe you... Okay, so now, but look at how many shades of green we have. It's crazy. We have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shades of green. And we haven't even messed with this one yet. So many and shades of green and tints of green. One. Maybe if we add like a little white, we would no, get another add tint. That, add that. Add that maybe. Mm, we don't have very much of that. Well, okay, we can try a little. See how that changes it. Not very Maybe much. Not really. Maybe a little blue. Mm -hmm. So many shades of green, right? How many now do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try what I have, so see all the different colors I have on the fork right now? Can you guys see that? It's kind of all mixed up. Let's try it just right here and see what happens. Just with a little tiny bit of black. Ooh, look at that. Let's try a little more yellow. Maybe a little bit more blue. Yeah, you want to try a touch more with the blue? Now, you guys can spend a lot more time doing this. Trust me. And moms and dads, your kids um, may decide that they want to do this all afternoon and go nuts. They may finish in like a minute and not want to do any more. Huh. Yeah they may decide they just want to mix the blue and the white or the black and the white or the black and the blue or the black and the blue and they may just not want to even make green and that's okay too. Um, I just think it's kind of fun, especially these days when we've had so much rain and everything's so green outside, I thought it would be fun to just work with green. So now you guys keep working on that if you want to, that's fine, make as many colors. And I would love to hear how many you got out of just those four colors of paint. So if you get busy and you have like a lot of colors, email me, um, make a comment on the comment section of the video and let us know how many colors you got. We're gonna move on now though and we're gonna make splat art next, right? Okay, so Evie, do you wanna show them how to do the pattern dart or do you just want mommy to do it? Cause you are, can you show them your, your picture that you made with the splat, splat art? You can show them. I can show them? Okay. So Evie's is kind of cool. Um, so she did this and look at all of those shades of green. I feel and like it's a gorilla face right here, and when you like when turn we turn it the other way, the other way it's a flower kind of. Isn't that neat? And this is what's so cool about splat art is you can just kind of hold it a couple of different ways and try to decide what you see. I kind of agree with her. I can sort of see a monkey, and I can sort of see an iris flower. Um, I can show you another one that um, our other. Um, your sister made, Charlotte made this one, and she and sees a peacock. See the little bird beak here and all of the feathers up here? And see how many different shades she got? It kind and of then feels a little weird when They get shiny dry. ones, it's dries too. It's really pretty paint. And then my son Mikey made this one and he felt like it looked like the head of an ant. 
And I kind of can see that with the and little Char pinchers. And, mine, and, and Charlotte keeps saying it looks like a zombie, but I don't really see the zombie. Yeah. Do you guys see the zombie? I don't see the zombie. I just see a hand. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to make splat art. I like to do patterns. Um, I love patterns. And so um, you can try it this way too, but you don't have to do it this way. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to do it. Okay, so first is the patterns. Adjusting the camera, sorry, so that you can see. What I'm going to do is take my paintbrush <laughs> and pick up some different colors off of the palette we just made and do some dots in a row of those colors. Now it helps when you're doing splat art to make it just a little goopier. But you do some like goopier. upstanding and like. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. And like a different color. Okay. Anyway, it's good to have really kind of goopy paint because you want it to squish together when we do this. Um, and then try. Now down with a different color. Okay, what color do you want to do next? This one. This one, okay. Um, your pattern does not matter. You don't have to do it like this. And you do not have to use a paintbrush. You can use your fingers. You can use wine corks if mommy and daddy have any. I might have to show you guys that as a project one and of these now days. do it like this um, with the other one. Okay. And you with can use um, Q-tips. You can use... The tips of a pencil eraser. Um, you could just glop it on with a spoon. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do this. A lot of kids like fingers, so if you want to do fingers, I'm okay with that too. So see how silly I'm getting with my patterns, Evie? Yeah. But remember to have it be kind of gloopy because we're going to gloop it together here in just a second. I'm really curious to see what this pattern is going to make. Okay. okay. Now let's fold it. So you can see my pattern, and that's already kind of cool because you can see all the different shades of green we got. But watch this now. <laughs> and now we have splat art. Okay, let me see what it would be, really. Okay. So it Evie's... kind of looks like a caterpillar, like the feet Oh, right here. it does look like a caterpillar. I can see that. Hmm, what else could it be, Evie? I'm looking. What else? Let me think. This wait, way. Wait, wait. Maybe this that way. way. Or the other one. You know what I can see in there, kind of? Um, look, I'm going to do it this way. A little turtle. Do you see the little turtles? The turtles go marching one by oh, one, I hurrah, see them. hurrah. The turtles go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. So it's lots of fun to wonder and think about um, what your splat art is. Now, I am going to do something crazy. Get ready, because here is our next way of making splat art. Now you don't need any kind of painting tool at all. Okay, so we don't need the brush anymore, Abby. Where do I put Now it? we're going to take our plain white piece of paper and we're just going to place it on our palette that we've been working on. Now you don't want to mess, press too hard or you could try it and see what happens. But you get a lot of gloopy paint this way. So do you see how cool that looks already? No, wait, okay. press it down one more time. Where? Up here on the top? Yeah. And you get just a little more paint. And so, yeah, you can be creative. You can do whatever you want. But now it's time... To fold! To fold it and see what happens. Okay, are you ready? Yep. One, two, three. It might squirt. Let's see. And if it squirts, that's okay. Remember, we used washable paint. If your parents are worried about messes, they can go ahead and put down a tablecloth or a drop cloth. But what if they but don't want messy. the chicken? It's kind of fun to play with it anyway. <laughs> okay. Let's see what this one made. Wow. Okay, let me see it. Wow. What do you think, Evie? Here, let's, I do let's not know. What do you guys think? Hmm. 
Maybe if we go that way, we'd see something different. What do you see this time? Hey, you're messing up the picture with your fingers. That's okay. It's a messy project. Or maybe if we go this way. I cannot see, see anything. Sometimes it's hard. I sort of see. <gasps> Look, I do see something. A mermaid face. Do you see the mermaid faces at the top? No, let me see again. Do you see? Right there and right there. I do not. Where are the eyes? There's no eyes, but I see like, see how the green streaks are kind of making hair right here? Do you guys yeah. see that? And like, but it must be fat. And this looks like a little shoulder right here it and a face. It kind of fat. What do you guys think? Do you see the mermaid? It must be kind of fat. <laughs> because like... It's like they're I'm just thinking about the hot hair. head. I wasn't thinking about the whole body. And that's the thing. You can sit and look at this and wonder about it forever. And this all just came from shades of green and blot art. So Maybe try please again. try making some blot art. Send us pictures of your blot art. You can comment um, in the comment section or you can send me an email with your pictures if you like. Um, we will be making more videos on more fun projects and reading some stories and other great stuff as usual. So I hope you'll join us and we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye, -bye. Bye everybody.